Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Dell's updated XPS 15 laptop. It's a thin and light machine, weighs about four pounds, and has a 15.6 inch display. And there's a couple of differences between this model and the uh, the earlier versions. First is that it is available with a Coffee Lake H processor, a entry level model for 9.99 and up. It's going to have a Core i5, six core, 45 watt hour processor or uh, 45 watt TDP processor. But it goes up to a Core i9 processor, uh, so those options are available. Also available with up to NVIDIA GeForce T. Uh, 1050 Ti Max Q graphics. Uh, entry level model won't have that. The entry level model has uh, Intel UHD 630 graphics. But again, uh, you can max it out with uh, pretty high end specs, including that Core i9 processor, the NVIDIA graphics, up to 32 gigs of RAM, has two uh, SODIMM slots, and up to uh, either one terabyte of SSD storage or a terabyte of hard drive storage plus 128 gigabytes of SSD storage. Another thing that's a little bit different in the new model is that it has an updated display, up to 400 nits of brightness, um, and you get about an hour of longer battery life with the uh, the new display panel over what you would have gotten with previous generation uh, laptops. Um, battery life is the rating you sort of have to take with a grain of salt. Dell likes to use Mobile Mark, which is never quite realistic, but longer battery life is longer battery life, so that's a nice thing to have. Um, overall, the design hasn't changed too much. One thing that you might notice here is that this model does have a matte display. It's a 1080p screen that we're looking at. There's also an optional 4K touchscreen display, which is going to be glossy. So if you want uh, the 1080 screen, you get this matte display. If you want uh, touchscreen or 4K, you get them both together. Uh, it's going to drive up the price a little bit, but you get a glossy, shiny screen that uh, has colors that sort of pop a little bit more nicely, but the main difference is that it's much, much higher resolution and it'll uh, respond to touch. In terms of ports, we've got a um, USB uh, SD card slot, two more full-size, or actually another full-size USB, USB Type-C and uh, HDMI, uh, headset jack and power jack. We've got a very nice touchpad down here, nice and large. We've got a backlit keyboard. And over here is the power button, which also has an integrated fingerprint reader. Um, webcam is still below the screen, which means that if you are uh, engaging in web video conferencing and typing at the same time, they'll get a nice look at your fingers. Um, but if you uh, sit back a little farther uh, and are just talking, it's there are worse things in the world. It does allow for these very slim borders above and on the sides of the screen, though, by placing it here. And it's something Dell's been doing with their XPS models for a couple of years. Um, one other change is that previous versions of this were only available with a silver color. Now we've got this black color option as well, sort of a brushed metal finish. And we're also looking at the new XPS 15 2 and one and really that's the only change in the new version of the XPS 2 and uh, one is that it's available with the black cover. Uh, this model is, um, was introduced earlier this year, has Intel uh, Cavi Lake G processor, which means that you get Intel, uh, Intel's uh, H-series um, processor, but also AMD graphics integrated with that 65 watt AMD uh, GPU. Uh, available with a 4K uh, Ultra HD display and touch, of course, and a 360 degree hinge. This model um, has all USB type C ports. There's no full size USB type A ports. Two of them are going to be Thunderbolt 3, and two of them are USB uh, 3.1. Type-C and we've got a micro SD card slot here instead of an SD card slot and that basically just allows for a slimmer uh, style design. So both of these are laptops with 15.6 inch displays, both of them weigh around four pounds and uh, both of them are going to be available for pre-order starting in April, starting for $9.99 and, uh, and up for the XPS 15 and the XPS 15 2-in-1 has a starting price of $1,300 and it uh, should be available in May. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.